are doing a joint wildland firefighter drill. Uh, we're trying to find out how the Coast Guard and other agencies can interact together. The idea was that there would be firefighters trapped along different ridges in Warehouse or Timber Company's property and they basically need to be uh, medevaced or extricated by helicopter. So that's where the Coast Guard, the National Guard, and uh, BRIM Aviation came into play. We've never done any drills with the uh, Air National Guard before to find out how our helicopters would work with them. Uh, we haven't really worked with the H-60 helicopters out of Astoria, our other birds, or with uh, Civil Air Patrol. Um, so in case of any natural disaster that might happen in this area, it's good to know how we will interact with these agencies and how we can serve the public better. If you came into the uh, the firefighters like you have here, what's the best thing they can do to help you when you came down? Uh, generally, when I come down, uh, just make sure not to touch me before I touch the ground. Um, even if I'm, you know, kind of getting crazy because you'll get shocked. Uh, there's a very good chance of you getting static electricity shock. Uh, just make sure to stay clear. Have the patient as ready as possible, and have someone uh, ready to give me a report. Holy shit! It's not. Oh, oh, that'd be scary. Oh, they're, no, they're bringing them here. They're bringing them in now. Brim Aviation was also up here today to show us how they, as a civilian company, could help firefighters trapped. And they brought in um, some Beijing fire policemen from China who actually did the short haul uh, demonstration for us under the helicopter. So that was very interesting today. Well, it's like being blasted by a 100 mile an hour wind. Um, in my job in the ocean, we have to swim under that, and we always have a mask and a snorkel on to keep us so we can breathe underneath of it. Up here, the breathing's not the problem, it's flying debris. So we have to, we definitely wore our eye protection today underneath the helicopter. And sometimes you have to lean into it as if you had a 100 mile an hour wind and trying to lean in, and then all of a sudden it gives up and you fall backwards sometimes. So it's interesting, and, uh, but everybody did well and, and figured out how to work underneath the helicopters. Firefighters may not be trapped in the forest, and this may not be the emergency, but we all know that the earthquake could happen and that the tsunami could take place, and we know darn well that we will be working with other agencies. This is the first time we've actually put it into play to find out how that would go, 